Hello everyone. Today we spoke about a very important question um, regarding Sfirat HaOmer. The first question was about why do we count the days toward Matan Torah, toward Kabbalat Torah, Shavuot, and the simple, ex uh, si simple answer is that once Bnei Israel heard that they're about to, uh, upon, upon leaving Egypt, that they're about to receive the Torah in 50 days, in anticipation, with excitement, they started counting the days. Now we, we delved into the question and we asked a further question. We asked, if they're counting, why did they count the day that have elapsed rather than the days that they're, that they're expecting, uh, the days that are ahead of them? The manner by which we count the Omer has a beautiful principle in life. You see, instead of counting the Omer, based on the days that are remaining until the Kabbalah, until the end of, of this period, we are counting the Omer based on what we have passed, what we have accomplished so far. So for example, tonight, it's 11 days to the Omer. We count what have passed. Why? Because we are taking note of what we have accomplished, what we have gone through, and we remember that. And this thought, tells us, reminds us of our mental toughness, of our ability to overcome challenges, of our qualities, of our personal resilience and confidence. That is what we need to continue onward, to, to celebrate today what we have, so we can move forward to tomorrow with the right tools. We want to avoid conversations about, about what will happen, because in fact, no one knows what will happen. But what we can do is to think about our accomplishments so it can remind us of our qualities, our, our strengths and qualities. And this, I, my friends, I assure you, this will help you. This is the right tool. It means that we have the right tools and we believe in ourselves. Now, if we think about our children, this principle of taking note of our past accomplishment when we want to set a new goal is a key when we deal with kids, with our children, with our students. You see, when we create a goal for our children, when we think about a goal, we cannot put the goal just by itself. Because if, it's not, if it doesn't have a basis of past accomplishment, it will just fall. It will seem to the child as an, an unattainable goal. What we need to do before we set a new goal with the children, we need to remind them layers upon layers upon layers of their past accomplishments to build this confidence, to build this belief in themselves so that they can reach out new goals. They can set new goals and reach them. What we want to do is that we want to address their past accomplishments, not specifically what they did, but how they did it. We want to, to focus on skills rather than general compliments, like nice job, wow, this is beautiful. No, we want to address skills. We want to address their mental capacities, tenacity, persistence, consistency. Wow, I saw that you didn't give up here. Wow, you're so generous. I know it didn't work out, but I look at your intention. I notice your intention and you really wanted to help here. I admire that. Things like that build the build confidence in our children, in ourselves as well. So before we put a goal, before we think about something, we want to think about what we have accomplished, what our children have accomplished, and that will remind them of their men mental, mental capacities, mental strength, so together we can help them reach new highs. And for us, for us it means to be ready for, for tomorrow, but not with fear, with confidence. Take care, my friends.